happens to be a large one that's amongst it and you can see the sap wood's actually coming off. Big splits and holes in it. I'm actually going to saw it, put the saw through it to show you what the internal part of it looks like compared to a softwood which is beside it which um, externally looks okay but this one's got lots of cracks and splits. If you saw this style of pole from the ground then clearly you wouldn't climb it but um, sometimes they still have the sapwood on the outside and they look fine but they're actually hiding all of these splits and nicks and what have you inside it. So a large pole you can see they've been soaked in creosote so the problem is is the creosote doesn't go all the way through or the treatment doesn't go all the way through so the centers of them rot out. Rot out. So I'll put the saw through it and um, yeah you'll be able to see the inside. <laughs> and guys this here is exactly why you shouldn't climb large poles. So you can see all I've done is cut through this and the internal, the internal structure of this pole is so weak it's actually coming away. So you can see the rot starting to form on the inside. So right here, okay. Now I've chopped a fair bit of this pole up now, but that is about maybe what was a couple of meters from the head of the pole. That bit there and these bits. So a couple of meters from the head of the pole, you can see the crack forming straight through this particular, look at that, just flicked it off. So that's a real problem for you. And that's why large poles should never be trusted. They rot from the inside out, okay. I'll chop up some more of the pole so you can see, but uh, yeah, just wet, mush all on the inside of the pole. Now if you had a sound of that with a hammer it would have sounded okay but look at it it's absolute crap. Oh well we'll chop up some more and uh, there show you the rest of it. Big potato chips. The section we've been chopping. Now if you have a look at the pole, this side of the pole integrity wise looks really good, solid. Come around to the other side, cracks and splits and all that sort of stuff. And then you've seen where I've been sawing through it, you can actually see this crack of this rotten bit, so whole half of that pole, and it goes its entire length, is split. So, as you've seen, each time I've cut through that pole, we've managed to break some off, and you can see that, just even poking my finger in here, is showing you the rot that's on the inside of that pole. Now I've got a screwdriver here somewhere, so I'll poke that bastard down there and show you. Okay, so that's in the middle of the pole, three quarters up the pole. You've got this massive, weak structure. So guys, as a fellow Liney, technical manager, chairman of the SSPG, don't take those risks out there, it's just not worth it. Make sure you do your safety checks. This video shows you exactly why you'd do that. It's just not worth the risk. Go and get something to hold that pole if you've got integrity issues. And if it's a large pole, then make sure you're 100% because anywhere through its entire length that pole can rot. So don't take the chances out there. Get home, be safe, enjoy your weekends.